Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden, and in our last episode, we finished the school trip and just returned home today. And, uh, it's an excellent question game. What should we do today? Uh, definitely watch a shopping network. Alright, let's see what we got. Sorry, I, I love that so much. A weapon for Teddy. Okay. And some more fish. Well, I, I would really like to buy the fish because I, I would like to feed that cat some. I don't think I don't think I have any fish right now, so. Yeah, I got some eatable trout. That's pretty good. I don't know what the ice does. I know ice cubes do ice damage, so maybe that does that. Anyways, let's figure out what we're doing today, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, Alright guys, I think we're gonna hang out with Yukiko today. Yeah. Hey, hey, you wanna go do something, Yukiko? Some uh, good use of our time today. Tatsumi Shrine. Yukiko brought you here saying she wanted to pay her respects. Are you gonna wish for something too? Uh... Yeah, I think uh, I'll make a wish for everybody. I see. That's so like you. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn, too. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Uh. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Okay. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. Oh. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. It's kind of the same thing I was thinking, to be honest. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. I mean, you chose to stay. That is in itself a choice. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. It's great. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. Yukiko is smiling gently. Yukiko's determination makes her look more mature. You know, rank 9 with the Priestess Arcana. Um, I wanted to ask you this before. Um. Yeah, what's going on? Why? Why are you always with me? Because you're my friend. Yukio is blushing. However, you're already in a relationship with another girl. Yes, guys, you can absolutely date more than one, pe one, more than one person at a time in this game. It, it does not go well if you choose to do that, if I remember correctly. Is it okay for me to ask? Uh, because you're you're my you're my friend, Yukiko. I see. <sighs> yes, precisely. Oh, I just remembered. I have an errand to run. I'll be going now. Oh, oh okay. Oh, I feel so bad. I think we broke that poor girl's heart. Yukiko ran off. You decided to go home. We had to, we had to be honest, guys. There is only room in our heart for one, and that is Chie. Welcome back. Thanks, Dojima. Full of food? Oh man, I might actually make food today. Uh, let me figure out what we're doing tonight, guys, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make food for tomorrow, and hang out with Chie during tomorrow for lunch, and then hopefully she'll be ready to rank up the next time we hang out with her. Chakin Sushi. I don't know what that is. Okay. The only sushi I know is rats and seaweed. Uh, sushi rice. Okay, we need to wrap it in. Okay. I don't actually know what it would be. Bamboo leaves doesn't seem right because I think bamboo leaves are really, really, really tough. And tea, I think tea, well, tea leaves would probably be overwhelming, right? So probably egg? I don't think you wrap sushi in egg, though. That seems really wrong to me. Uh, 
Let's try egg. Then omelet coating. Okay, okay. Golden shiken sushi. Okay, when it said egg, that was I did I did not think I it would be like an omelet covering rice. That actually sounds really really good. Um, I don't know really what I was thinking like a hard boiled egg exterior. That just seems weird. Um, in my head. Yeah, we're gonna hang out with Chie for lunch today. That is definitely the plan and definitely what I want to do. I would really like to get her social rank up. You ate lunch with Chie. Seems like Chia, Chia enjoyed our food. Oh, my heart. It's so great. Yes, okay, so next time Chia is available, guys, we're gonna take care of that. Could be today, I don't I don't actually know uh, who's available today. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this school trip. Don't you... Don't you all feel just a bit more mature now that you've visited an urban area like that? Oh, by the way, that cute bear that Yukun had on the trip. It was really adorable. I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in Japanese? They were called black and white bears, and divided color bears, a perfect description of how they look. It's the mixed colors, so exotic, yet so delightful. You need to do some exotic things to become adults anyways. Uh, well, we listen to the lecture. Hey, we got a free knowledge point. I like that. I like free points. Still not rank 5 in anything yet. We'll get there eventually, guys. Classes have ended for today. Yeah, uh, so let's figure out what we're doing today, guys. Guys, best girls available today. This is it, guys. This is the rank 10 event. I am so excited. Yes, spend some time with Chie. Um, er, well, room? Can I go see your room? It's after training, of course. That's all. So, so let's go. She looks embarrassed. Looks like we're gonna have Chie over today. Your room. Chie begged to see it after training, so you brought her here. Hmm. So this is your room. Yeah. Did you expect it to be like real messy or something? It's pretty clean. Oh. Trying to keep the place tidy for when you move out. I mean, I like keeping my room clean. Oh. Oh, well, how did the room you had back home look? Oh, uh, that's, a, you know, more or less pretty much the same. Oh, I wish I could see what it looked like. Jeez, somewhat embarrassed. My room's covered with posters and stuff. It's a complete mess. I'm sure it's great. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry to barge in like this. It's okay. Like your company. She seems to be panic for panicking for some reason. Well, see, there's something I want you to hear. Only you. Okay. Um. I still don't have a clue what my good points are. I mean, pretty much all of your points are good points, Chie. Let's be real but here. I thought I could just keep on searching. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I was thinking. Maybe both of us together? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah! Oh my god, the second off, you would have been so mean! So, here. From me to you. You tamed wristbands. Oh! And it's new, so it's clean. It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> I think this power of mine is what I wanted all along. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko, my friends, my family, this town, and you. That just melts my heart, guys. Chie's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power. Have Chie her second awakening. Chie's persona has been reborn. My new power! Was in, was it, it was inside you all along, Chie. You just had to find it. I have you to thank for this. <laughs> I love you. 
You can sense Chie's intense love. You feel a tight bond between you and Chie. Rank 10 maxed. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ultimate ability to create name here, the ultimate form of the chariot persona. Fuck me, man, I can't do those. I can't pronounce the names. I can't figure out how to pronounce that in like half of a second. What? what? I'm not a match master here. What the hell, game? You have mastered the Chie Satanaka social link. Your power to create personas of a chariot arcana has reached its maximum. Yar Yu Nurakami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the chariot social link, you can now fuse the divine sword. Chie is also going to learn a new move for her persona as well. Again, her abilities are all stronger and better in every way possible. And... Hmm... I think, maybe maybe this is really stupid, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of Heat Wave. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of Black Spot. Uh, it, Heat Wave costs more HP to use, but I feel like having Evade Fire is a much bigger deal. She is fidgeting. What did you do? We gotta hug her, right? We gotta. We, we gotta. I just got done with training. I am, I'm still all sweaty. Wait, the, the, oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, that's... it's just like you, Chie. What do you mean, it's just like me? Idiot. You passed a long while with Chie. It's gotten dark, so you walked Chie to her house. Wait, is that Nalta? Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Nightwatch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Mm. So, stretching the truth, the truth a little bit, don't you think? Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah, Naoto's on TV. Oh, his uniform is the same as yours. Yeah, he goes to our school. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. Hmm. Seems like Nalto agrees with my earlier thoughts that I don't think that... Honestly, I don't think that he was the killer. I don't I don't feel like the kid was the killer for everyone. Because of the things that the shadow said in the TV world. His shadow. I I, I think Nalto realizes that as well, although I don't know what means and how he could possibly know that. But I, I think that he's on the same vein of thought as we are. I I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Naoto-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, The Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. Wow. 16 of them were... That's a lot of cases. There's a detective at your school? Yeah, and, and an idol, and Rise, your favorite. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Absolutely, Nanako. The breezy evening passes. Hmm. Hi, Senpai. 
Hey, Reese, what's going on? Oh, like a good chunk Yo. of my friend groups here. Hey, what's going on, Yosuke? Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Dokun was on. Yeah, I I did see that. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. Yeah, killers in jail. That's all I care about. Doesn't matter who takes credit for it. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? Yeah. So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. Hey, Nauta. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Nauta, where's your uniform? Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Yosuke, get out of my head. You can't read my thoughts. Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? Sure. What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. Okay. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. Okay. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? For somebody who doesn't have, like, six other people to bounce ideas off of, Naoto is very, very smart. So yes, yes, we did. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? Yeah. There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, 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 hold the phone, hold the phone. Is Naoto planning on getting himself kidnapped? Is that why he went on TV? Because if this is his going theory, he knows that locals that are shown on TV get kidnapped. He's using himself as bait? To prove his theory? This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Very, very sharp. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. True. He did not follow the pattern at all. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The condition of the corpse? What do you mean by that? He was found the same as everyone else, right? Strung up from a TV antenna? The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. So it was a copycat murder. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy. Yet they are desperate to close the case. This is one of those moments where all the pieces start to fall into place. It's very satisfying to know that I, I've been on the right track. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Hence you being bait. Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. 
Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun? Hmm. Looks like uh, some of our friends are ready to level their social links. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still kind of pondering that exchange. It's very interesting. Hey, Naoki, what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I'm free. Not a lot of people to hang out with, though. Case in point, more people to hang out with. Hey, Yane. Hmm. Maybe we should go to band. I don't know, I'm, I, I'm having a hard time thinking about what I want to do today because of that exchange that just went through. Um, Naoto didn't come to school. Definitely weird. Well, let's figure out what we're doing today, guys, and then I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with Naoto. I think it might be worthwhile to hang out with Yane today. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll go to band practice. I know I need to get the, my expression up, so I think it would be a good idea for us to do that. The music room today. Played our trumpet with some passion. Yeah. Still, man, I'm still waiting for some anything, literally anything to hit rank 5. I'm sure I unlock stuff when I hit rank 5. We're at the riverbank with Yane. After practice, Yane took you here. Senpai. Over here. Yeah, what's going on, Ayani? This is where I usually practice. <laughs> There's never anyone around, so I can relax while I play. Sorry for dragging you out here on such short notice, but I thought it would be easier for me to tell you something here. Um... I think I need to start being more selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, you do. For as long as I can remember, I've never expressed my opinions, I just let them build up inside me. I was trying to protect myself from conflicts just by avoiding them. But sometimes arguing about something and talking through it is what makes a relationship stronger, I think. I'm finally starting to see that. Well, no, that's not true. Well, don't second guess yourself, Ayane. I've known that all along, but I was too scared to admit it. I was afraid of speaking my mind and getting shot down. I didn't want anyone to hate me. That's why I thought I could avoid getting hurt by just going with the flow. It was the easiest way out. Why are only half of her lines voice acted? That's really strange. But then you came along and made me realize I was just pretending not to see what I was doing. I've been keeping a lot of unpleasant emotions buried inside. In fact, the real me can be pretty selfish. I want people to notice me, but I never make the first move. Selfish, right? That's me. That's why when I think about the other day and how I threw away everything you did for me, I feel guilty. But you helped me do a lot of things that I couldn't have done on my own. I pushed myself past my limits, and on top of that, I got to hang out with someone I care, really care about. But most importantly, you made me look myself in the eye. I could never have done that alone. You helped me hear my own voice. So from now on, I'm not going to pretend that I don't care what happens anymore. Good. Good, Yane. I'll express my opinion, say what I think, and if that gets on someone's bad side, then that's that. If I want to get what I want out of, in life, I gotta speak my mind. I owe it all to you, you senpai. Thank you. Yane is smiling, smiling cheerfully. Seems you were able to guide Yane through her problems. You know, rank 8 in the sun. Um, that being said, um, there's something else. Yane is blushing. Um, Senpai, I, I... You have a hunch what she wants to say. I am in a relationship with another girl, best girl. Cannot betray best girl. Let's, let's just, let's just change the subject. Talk about some band stuff. You changed the subject and relieved your t the tension. Uh, uh, n never mind. Well, I I better get home. So g goodbye. Goodbye. We are we are in a little heartbreaker. You know we we got to be honest. 
and just let them know, you know, we just want to, we enjoy them because they're our friend and there's, there's no other reasons why we want to hang out with them other than we just enjoy them as a person and we want to be their friend. And for free social stat points. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Nanako. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Aww. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna figure out what we're doing tonight. There's a mushroom in there you don't recognize. It may have grown out of something that had previously been in the fridge. Eat it. We. We gotta! Tasted fine, but you feel itchy for a while afterwards. However, you don't feel so well. Oh, I guess we're going to bed early tonight, guys. You overhear some students talking. Hey, did you see that show on TV? The one about the Detective Prince's secret identity? Naoto Kun is so cool. Yeah, he really does have it, have it going on, doesn't he? He's really young to be a detective, too. He's cute, but he has this aura of mystery about him. That's cool, too. You think he'll be at school today? Hmm. Got a bad feeling about this. I think he really did use himself as bait. Yeah, I have to come to school again. Alright guys, I guess let's figure out what we're doing today. Be right back. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and turn the Ema in today. Uh, rainy days are usually pretty pretty dull for the most part, so... Yeah, we fulfilled the Ema, Mr. Fox. Yes. Yes. Gosh, I love the Happy Fox so much. Makes me so happy. Ah, I see, so cute. Okay, now rank seven with the hermit. It's fantastic. Even more of a discount with the uh, fox inside the CV. That's great. It's already getting pretty cheap, to be honest with you. But we're gonna have to pick up the Ima the next day. We're free. Thanks, Nanako. Yes, all of our fish uh, dry ice. That, which I'm curious to know what that does. Uh, Alright, guys. Well, it's Wednesday. I don't really know what there is much to do today, so I'll be right back when I figure out what we're doing tonight. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be able to do much else for the night. We're just going to be heading straight up to our room for the Midnight Channel. Uh, and uh, honestly, guys, this seems like a pretty decent stopping point for today. So I hope you all will join me in checking out what's on the Midnight Channel. Just... Honestly, I've got a kind of a sneaking suspicion that may we might see somebody there, so I hope you guys will join me and I'll be proven wrong. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!